Hi friends, my name is Candice and today we are going to be making a four ingredient, no knead, no oven, no Dutch oven bread. Super easy. There are two things that you are going to need for this recipe that are absolutely essential. You are going to need a kitchen scale. I will not be giving measurements in cups, so you are going to need to be able to measure your ingredients. You're also going to need a thermometer. So this is so that we can ensure that our water temperature that we, we're using is sufficient. So please make sure you have those things and let's get started. So we'll add our bowl and then I'm going to tear it, like I said, so bring it back down to zero. And I'm going to be adding 500 grams of all-purpose flour. Followed by 360 grams of 32 to 35 degree water. And then we're just gonna mix this by hand and let it rest for 30 minutes. Now, the reason for the auto lease in this recipe is because it allows the flour to absorb the water better and it also activates enzymes in the flour. So it's definitely a crucial step when it comes to this bread. I'm also experimenting with a pre-ferment so you can see all those beautiful bubbles. I have really high hopes for this one, so but I'm not going to be showing you this one. Um, I just wanted to kind of share that, but you'll see it at the end so we can compare the difference. Okay, now it's time to pinch and fold in our salt and yeast. So you just want to sprinkle it evenly across the surface. And then you just want to literally pull it up and fold it over itself. So pull it up and over itself. And you want to continue to do that. If your dough is sticking to your hands, you can just have a nice little bowl of water. It's not going to do any harm. And then you just want to pinch it. We're just trying to get that salt and yeast fully incorporated. Cover that with a piece of wrap. And a towel, and we will be back in 10 minutes just to fold it again. Now I know this is a sticky dough and you have to resist the urge to put more flour in it. We don't want more flour. More flour means a denser bread. These are things that I've learned. Bread has been a nemesis of mine. I've really wanted to get to the point where I can make homemade bread that I'm proud of and I am there with this. So please just, just get used to working with a sticky dough. It's not that bad. We'll get through it. <laughs> so it's been 10 minutes. So this is our first fold. Is no punching down of the dough involved in this recipe because when you're doing that you're you're punching out those beautiful air pockets that's what makes an amazing delicious bread so we want to make sure that we can keep those air pockets in there as best as possible This slow cooker bread recipe is one that you can start in the morning and have fresh bread by dinner time. It's a beautiful thing. There's a few steps in between that you do have to be around for, but it's totally worth the time and effort.
Now, I know I said that this is a no oven recipe and it is, your bread will cook just fine in the slow cooker. But if you wanna get that nice brown on it, we're just gonna throw it under the broiler for like two minutes. Watch it close, don't burn it, or you'll be very sad. <laughs> All right guys, so our loaves are done. They've spent two hours in the crock pot, and then I broiled them, like I said, just to get that nice brown. So here is our bad boy that we made. Look at that beauty. Nice crust on the bottom. Nice and crispy. You can, oh man, so amazing. And then, like I said, I was experimenting. So I did a pre-ferment. So I mixed part of the flour and water last night and let it sit overnight. And I made a loaf with that as well. So there's that one. This recipe is gonna be coming your way as well, guys. This one, that bread, don't get me wrong, is amazing, but this one, it just feels airier, it feels lighter. They're basically the same amount of flour and water and ingredients, but yeah, amazing. So there will definitely be some more bread recipes coming up, guys. Of course, I do veggie recipes every week as well, but make sure you hit subscribe if you wanna see how I make this other amazing bread. Thank you so much for watching, and don't forget to... <coughs> <coughs>